Let's see what happens. That's what I said. I will do yeah. as much of a recap Help as I can. Another. Yes, that is all we can ask for. I'll do... No, we don't settle, remember? <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> I don't settle. But that's a different. Alright. Uh, Alright, so I, I remember rightly, last session began with us arriving back at Respite. Um, after the Battle of the Three Pairs, uh, I believe it was called. Um, and then we, uh, we, we had a meeting, I believe, because, uh, Decim found out who the traitor was, and it was, um, the commander of the Dornish Guard, uh, Olyan Sands, who, there was some, uh, arguments, he confessed, uh, then there was a trial by combat, and uh, uh, between Rosette, because she was like, well, I can do it. And he was like, no, 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 Lena should do it. And she's like, well, I I can do it. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to argue. She's already pissed with me. So, yeah, fuck it. You can do it. She she did go, like, she went you can't tell me what to do. Supernova. She was angry <clears throat> as fuck. Um... Yeah. So Lanus was like, sure, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Ollie and Sans didn't attack her, instead attacked Lanus, and then got brutally murdered by every guard around him. <laughs> then, uh, a shadowy figure came to the castle, um, and told uh, vaguely about Alaric's debt, which involves a wild plot from the Lannisters, and debts, and stuff. And it was very confusing. Um, he went to Desmond, told Desmond, and then we told the rest of the council, which was great. Um, Halen is still away. Um, and I can't remember what else happened. Uh, we all survived our wounds. Uh, Maester Cole makes amazing rolls. Oh yes, I remember. You, Bree had a in you, you a don't. deep conversation, <laughs> and it was rough. And that's that also happened. Um, oh, I'm lady, glad you remember that, and not the conversation you have with the shady figure. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of remembered that. Yeah, you 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 found out it about that. You're all you basically just sacrificed yourself and everything to save uh, the reach. Yes. Kinda did that too. Yeah. Um Lady Swan is leaving soon with the Maester as well. Aren't you gonna marry her? Uh that's still in the up you in really the really have to put moment. a ring on it, it's called the mirror. I know, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work just... like that in, in the reach. I'm just saying if if you made her pregnant, she got what she wanted. Yeah, yeah. And that's not good. You need to put a ring on it. <laughs> then there was also, uh, of course, the the letter, the letters. That, that, oh that yes, were, that arrived. Oh, I now remember those. Say that uh, that the hand of the king would like to come visit. Yeah. Lord Butterwell. Yes. And so, uh, everyone but Bree, I believe. The player characters are preparing to go to the funeral um, at uh, at night song for for the young for the young Karen. Yes, I believe so. Yes. All right then. Uh, it's been a little bit of time. People have been preparing themselves, and and through this time, there are some things uh, that are going to happen, basically. Uh, I believe that Decim wanted to uh, to dismiss the the soldiers of Dorne that have been hanging around for quite some time. Yes, I do believe I'm not alone in that, both in characters and in players. Yes, yeah. someone who has been up to discussion. Alone. They they did um, the um, the crow thingy. Let's make the wildlings think you're a traitor. Kill me. It's um. It kind of did yeah, that. No, so. it, uh, the, uh, no, the the argument that Decibel gathered a family around to discuss while Rosette is out riding in the forest 
uh, like she apparently did, is basically to say that yeah, it's it's time for the Dornish soldiers to go. Um, you know, they they have they are making her bold and rebellious in a way that is hurtful to the house. Every time we have left home and come back, she has done some form of mischief that has uh, like damaged our political reputation and some things that almost caused us to have a peasant rebellion on our hands if it weren't for Bree that managed to quell that. And she is being very troublesome right now. Um, and she's bold because of the soldiers and that needs to end. Also the soldiers have already had at least one traitor that almost killed us all. So yeah, it's enough. Um, and Desim would argue, basically, to, to put it forward to the soldiers in a manner of that we, you know, we understand that Ironwood is uh, has been is very taxed controlling will lands, and uh, you know they surely want all the manpower back they can get. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for helping out, taking out the bandits, and you can now go home. Yes. Uh, that'll be that'll be very kind of you. If they refuse, well, uh, the uh, the the new the sort of. Uh, more like elected commander, since their old one's kind of dead, um, will respond that uh, p- that they will begin packing their stuff, basically. Some of them out on patrol and such, and they will recall, and then they will probably leave uh, then tomorrow. Like They're a bit shamed at this whole display of their commander being a traitor and such, and uh, they kind of also want to get home at some point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They really stayed here longer than they expected, uh, but uh, yeah, they will. They will prepare to to go. Wonderful. Um, Good. We we will have uh, some Alaric and some troops escorting them out. All right. They'll uh, they'll leave on the morrow. <clears throat> yes. That. Uh, Probably not even that evening, but uh, but that that basically goes. They leave. Rosette talk to them. Uh, she doesn't interfere much, but but they 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 travel out and they they go and just remove their, their tokens if there were any right now. They're they're in the god quarters. Oh sure, we'll just uh, we'll just make them go away then. I'll always remember you. Uh, Guard one, two, and three. Four. Uh, and don't forget four. Four was so funny. Yeah. To Remember the way he, when he door. ate, he always <laughs> spoke with his mouth open. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's beautiful. It's Re- beautiful. Uh, regardless, there is uh, before you leave for uh, for well, for uh, night song, which which. Is sort of the next, the next stop. There is uh, a few sort of things that will that will happen or occur during this uh, during this time. One of them is uh, is that Lady Swan uh, will have a conversation with Alaric at some point, uh, probably in his room. Perfectly honest. The guard awkwardly standing outside as he does. Mm-hmm. Gonna grab you from somewhere. There oh, I'm right. already there. Yeah, I'm on it. Uh, basically, uh, you know, it's kind of time for her to leave soon. She probably even stayed here longer than she should, but you know, the maester has kind of been busy uh, for some time. Uh, and she will basically, uh, basically start the, the the conversation a little more cordial, a little more. A little more sort of official than she otherwise has been speaking. She's been speaking very sort of nonchalantly about things. Uh, but but she will basically say, uh, Sir Alaric, I don't think I can stay here much longer. I have been overstaying from the time that I had originally. They expect me back, maybe even would have expected me back at this point. I would hope, of course, that that the offer of the maester of this house, Mr. Cole, is still standing, yes? 
Uh, Alaric nods and says, uh, I presume so, but matters of Maester Cole aren't really in my hands. It's, uh, at the moment, I believe it'd be Lanus's uh, command. Oh, well, I suppose perhaps I should speak to him instead of you, then. Smirks and says, about the Maester, you know, we can, uh, we can talk about other things. Says, we indeed have. Now perhaps we could she says, it might be more proper to speak to him in another room than this one. Perhaps perhaps at the top of the castle. There's a big open room up there. Would you would you be a deer and, and perhaps get Lanus for me? Then can all three speak. Laric looks quizzically and says, uh, we have an entire room to talk, especially designed for such discussions. And I believe it's directly below us. I just didn't us. want it to be f too formal, but as you wish. Well, oh. You just have stayed here long enough to sort of, sort of know where things are. Yeah, well, Laric will like, tell a servant to fetch Lanus to the Council room. Sure, that will be done. I suppose the rest of you are not here right now. <laughs> You're in there for some reason. <laughs> oh, I, I like being <laughs> in the stairwell. I really like what uh, the nice acoustic in here. Well, this is a port. You're just like all trying to go past each other on the stairs, but you keep no, stepping I, 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 into I, I, the I, I, direction. It's like, no, oh, no, no, oh, no, oh, also, you have the right of way. Really, I no, should, no, we're no. the stairwell first. You, you end up finding out it's an eternal stairway. You're stuck with each other for eternity. Oh, I'm just so in worst uh, limbo of the ball. There are, there are worse people to be stuck with. Probably. Bree just picks Decim up and turns around and puts him on the lowest step. <laughs> Lady, uh, Lady Venetia is sort of, sort of uh, you know, is mine waiting basically for, for Lanus to arrive. Uh, Lanus probably have been told that uh, that Sir Alaric wanted him uh, to speak to him in the council room. I need slightly more than um, Sir Alaric in the council room. <laughs> yeah, well. You'll uh, find the, the lady standing there giving you a deep formal bow. It says, Lord Lanus. Lady Benevia. Yes, I was speaking to Sir Alaric about the proposition that was made, whether I could soon leave with the maester. I need him. He is well versed for, well known for his healing arts. And, well, as it were, I believe that you owe me your life. In return for that, I would ask that that the maester be allowed to come with me to aid in my family's problems with the epidemic that has been plaguing our lands. You should smile. I hope that is not too much to ask for my aid after the battle. Quite some aid, I heard it was. Looks to Sir Alaric for a second, seeing what his reaction yeah, if he's giving any signals to this. He's uh, not particularly giving off any obvious sign of anything. Of course I know that I also owe your house my own life. I might have died in that attack or burned inside a, a building. And although I would not ask that we simply make do my life for yours, or so to speak, uh, I would perhaps offer something else to settle the debt, debt, debt that I have to you. You would give me the maester to pay off your debt to me. In return, he shrugs, I would give you my hand in marriage. With Alaric, she looks over to him, I would be happy to take him. You have some children and we could have more. You're strong, and my father will most likely approve of you. 
Not that we really need his approval. She smiles. Besides, you strike my personal fancy. She's smiling. Looks back to Linus. Should your house, however, not desire such a union, should you disapprove? She shrugs. Says, I can offer my hand to someone you deem might just want or need it. I'm getting older. I should be married in a few years, or I might as well not try any longer. She sort of smiles at Alaric, shrugs again. I do not think you could find a husband I could not tame, regardless. I have always enjoyed a challenge. Perhaps you're a little taken aback at such an offer from a noble lady such as myself, but it seems to me like my life would be worth taking the hand of some man, whoever he might be. If you will not have me, that is, Alaric. <sighs> Regardless, soon death will come to this realm, and nobles all over the land will be in need of new blood to fill the sea that they will have spilled in this coming conflict. And she shrugs, as I suppose I would want to be part of the solution rather than the problem. Quite the proposals you're offering. Hmm. If you're a smile, says, I am generous. She looks to Alaric with like a flirtatious look. Alaric uh, gives a sly smile back. It's an offer. Though I would prefer an answer sooner rather than later. I should also wish to leave with the maester rather soon. Otherwise, there might not be a populace for him to help. Of course, of course. I understand that you might take a bit of time to discuss this with the rest of your family, but... Yes, I will. I believe I will take a few, few take some short time, though I will not wait long. I understand the situation is dire. You know, I hear you will soon leave um, to bury... She seems to struggle a little bit for the funeral, and um, I should wish to leave when you do, at least. I hope this will not be a problem. I do not believe it will. Wonderful. Well, that was really all I needed. She just smiles and says, uh, and winks to Alaric and says, uh, <clears throat> I shall await your proposal soon. Yes. I shall smiles. contact you when needed. Wonderful. I will be in uh, my room for once. Linus nods, giving a slight oh. look to Alaric. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know why that happened. Let me just rehost that. It's because I learned to whisper. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had the idea oh. of Nima coming into the room and just shouting, <laughs> I learned how to whisper! Burp, <laughs> 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 Well, you know, it's, I have tried for some time, and now I finally learned to whisper in map tools. It works. It's a good tool. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You know, I didn't even add anything to the map. I no, was. No. I was. Restraining myself. So yeah, it didn't give me an error. Points. The whole thing just closed down. So. Oh wow. <laughs> nope. It's a little more dramatic than usual, but. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even give a no. reason. I will wait your proposal. <laughs> 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 it was like no shit. <laughs> Metal's never been a diva. There shall be no proposal on my watch. No such thing. <laughs> Java don't believe in marriage. No. <laughs> <laughs> the house faces the greatest challenger yet. The <laughs> program that Coffee. runs their world. <laughs> it's like deja vu. Something has changed. <laughs> we rejoin. And then Alaric uh, slow motion kicks something. Slow motion kicks. <laughs> I'd imagine it's. the windows. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bjorn somehow comes into this this world and starts wrecking everyone's minds and Nima has a red dress. Nima has a red dress? What? What? She has dresses. Code word. 
Wait, what? <laughs> it's the code word. Oh. Kill the no, server, no. quickly. Kill the server. No, the DDS oh, right, 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 right. Slit, to slit everyone's DDS. throat. <laughs> Uh, it's the, it's, the it's really phrase. dangerous if you make uh, a code word with me and you accidentally say the wrong one and then I, suddenly you come back and then all the dogs are dead or something like that. <laughs> I, uh, I, I keep didn't that in mind. Again. You say red dress when actually you meant red shoes and red yeah. dress actually means burn down the entire house. Yeah. Oh, when really you wanted the garbage taking out. It's so, a huge mix up. Uh, meanwhile. It's dangerous. Yes, yeah, sorry. Meanwhile. Everyone, back out That's of the council room. you wanted to say, or because I do. Yeah, sure. No. Jonas, no. Uh, do I have? <laughs> what? You said meanwhile. Is there something I, going on I, meanwhile? That I yes, don't know about? There, there is a few things going on meanwhile. First of all, I imagine Alaric will 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 tell people. Like, I mean, well, I can't well, act. Lainus kind of knows. Like, first and foremost, sure. Uh, get out of here before you get the chance. Uh, actually, Desm is going to be a pro. Where is Desm sort of hanging out sort of in the middle of the day? What's he doing? He hangs out in the middle of the day. He's probably in the, <laughs> s the study. In the stairwell. In the stairwell. Or, with yeah, the... <laughs> or the, he's in the Raven Roost. Let's say he's in the All Raven right. Roost. That's where people, people he's, know uh, to find him anyway. He's, uh, he's catching up with the Ravens. All right. Uh, he will hear uh, knocking on the door. No. You can see now he's no, uh, a little smaller than the other doors. Apparently not. Well, <laughs> uh, for the ravens to fly in and out, apparently. Yeah. Um, the door the inside the wall. What? Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no that's actually that's. Do that's... not question what she <laughs> has done. She <laughs> But um, but yeah, uh, Rosette will peek her head in, yeah, looking very something. serious at that doesn't and say, uh, she looks very determined. Mm -hmm. She stands there with her with her stuff and such, and says, uh, Uncle. Would you perhaps have time to have time to speak with me? Doesn't will put down the raven he's holding up, inspecting, you know, back in the cage. Close mm -hmm. the door methodically, and then he will slowly turn around and look at her. Uh, yes, Rosette, of course. Come into the room, closing the door behind her. She she seems to be carrying like a little a little, little bunch of letters. Mm -hmm. She says. Um, do you trust me? Does not look at her up and down? I um, am doing my best to do so, Rosette. And there has been some incidents while we have been gone that has disturbed me greatly. And even though I don't, do not think that you, of course, had any hand in the uh, a traitor among your troops. That made things more problematic, to say the least. No, it's just, I understand you have sent them home. Yes, that seemed to be for the best. You know, just, I suspect so as well, especially with the things that I have recently concluded, I suppose. She says, I had hoped, perhaps, to have earned your trust in some fashion, but I don't think the opportunity has really been there for me to show whose side in all of this I'm on. I understand that I may not seem like a member of your family, but as it is, I am. I carry with me the union of our families and I'm going to live here at this keep. Yes. I have quite a lot of things to say. And I'm not really a good speaker. So I apologize if if I may not say it in, in a way that is the easiest to understand, but says, you made an alliance with my brother. Perhaps I can start with asking what you think he wants or what his plan would be. Not, not just immediately, the alliance, I mean, but more his goals in the end. 
Does it correct an eyebrow? That should be something that you could answer. Rosati is your brother. But I'm curious as to what you think. At the moment, I don't think much of it. It might be a long-term plan, it might not be. I simply don't know. There has been a lot of problems for the house to face after the marriage was done. We uh, We have had several attempts on our lives, and some of them very close to succeeding. There's an election in marshes. There is a rebellion coming from over the sea. Exactly what he is planning currently is... He looks, at, he looks at her, gauging somewhat unknown. He nods. Even to me, yes. He doesn't speak to many, though I have asked him. She takes the letter, sort of waves it a little bit. Here's the reply. I was curious for... Says, it seemed like there was so much I wasn't being told, and even now he an- his answer is cryptic at best, or not at all what I asked for anyway. But I think I understand what it means, and it worries me. Dustin looks at the letter. May I see it? She sort of holds it tightly and says, Yes, I'm going to show it to you, but perhaps you would hear my conclusions on it first. He looks at her a little bit and then you know, shifts his weight uh, to the cane a little bit more and then motions to her to continue. He looks like for a chair or something. Uh, there's probably a few chairs. There's like a. It's like, it's like a, a little, little old table. With... Yeah, it's like a lectern or something where you can write letters and. Yeah, she'll, she'll go sit down. And say, Luke turns the chairs sort of towards you and says, <clears throat> "As I said, I hope that this might aid in earning your trust. For my family is your family. We're we're bound." The the fate of this house is also my fate. Yes, I agree. She looks a letter. In this letter, the answer to my questions has been given in a reminder, I suppose, of our origins. He writes that I should remember that we are the blood royal, that we are the descendants of kings. That I should act like it. He reminds me of why we lost our crown. We were betrayed by our allies. How they sided with the Dornish. He reminded me that although we might be seen as people of Dorne. Although we have fought the dragons side by side side with them. Although we have sworn to the Martels and been so for a hundred years. Although we fight with spears and have women in our ranks. We are Andals. All of the stone are Andals. Our crown was an Andal crown. And I do not fight because I am a lady of Dorne, but because I am of royal blood. The Andals came here with sword, shield, and mail. We came here with them. We settled the mountains. And when the Martels came with their warrior queens, we were betrayed, and that made us lose. We were, are, I suppose, Dornish not by birth or inheritance, but because we were conquered, because we were betrayed. That is what he writes. She looks at the letter. And this answer, in a way, makes it clear. I believe he wishes to reclaim what he sees as ours. When the time comes and the dragon flies across the sea, I believe he will declare for the Blackfire. He will deal with them, or perhaps he already has, so that he will become the Lord of Dawn, an Andal Lord of Dawn. With him will stand at least the forces of, well, now Will, at least Blackmond and Dane, perhaps others. They can easily move to the east. They can easily enter all the castles protected by the Dornish and open their gates. Perhaps uh, justice for what was done to us hundreds of years ago. 
this alliance? Well, perhaps it is to secure the northern border while his troops move east to open the gates of the many castles that line the waters of dawn. It also won will, and it has made them appear to be saints of the peaceful kingdom, trustworthy to the current king. She sighs heavily. In a year or two, the child that I bear, he sort of lightly touches her stomach, of Caladan, might be fourth in line for the crown of dawn. She looks to you sort of in a very serious look. What do you think we should do about it? Hmm. It doesn't... Seems to think he taps, taps his shin with one of his fingers. It is something that has. I have pondered on not exactly that outcome, but on recent events that your brother seems to have been doing. There is. Um, Reports of heavy uh, purchasing and uh, and procurement of troops, arms, and armor that he's preparing for war is clear. Um, I was not sure whether he would side with with the um, with the throne or with the Blackfire. You have given me some inclination that he will indeed go for the Blackfire. That is... <sighs> that is problematic. Not slightly. Especially if we do not. I would not want to face them in battle, although I suppose our alliance would somewhat make conflict between our houses unlikely, as he would likely simply aim to battle in Dawn with other Dornish. Or, I suppose... He would be the Andal, retaking the lands that the Dornish took way back when. That is certainly a very ambitious plan. Where the house stands, well, you have been part of the meetings. You know that we are not very fond of the Blackfire. She nods. Yeah, I do. It, uh... We're martial lords, after all. We're loyal to the king and the lords of the marshes. Yes. It is, at this point, unlikely that we would side with the Blackfire. If you asked me... six months ago, the answer, or a year, the answer might have been different, but recent developments... He sort of shakes his head slowly. I don't see us do it. And it certainly becomes a problem for us. Will is at our southern border. And, uh, yes, our troops, although training, uh, yes, I shall have to speak to Alaric a bit more, it seems. He seems to think to himself. I do not think we will have to go that way. The Bone Way is a terrible foe. Perhaps it would be wiser not to, should we be called to go north? I do not believe that my brother would send troops here to take our keep, even if it was with only a garrison. He has secured his northern border, and I suppose we have secured our southern one. I suppose so. I suppose so. He sort of looks set up and down. As to the... As um, he puts the letter on the table. Uh -huh. You can read it at your own time. What? It does indeed appear to be a history lesson. Uh -huh. Yeah. For now, we, uh, we need to take care of one emergency at a time. The funeral is the first order of business. After that, we have the Hand of the King visiting. When he does visit... 
I um, will relay what you have told me to him. Martin says, uh, very well. I hope perhaps that be bringing this or what is, I suppose, my thoughts on it, given what I know of my brother, perhaps can show that I stand here. He nods. I do appreciate the, uh, the gesture, Rosette. I do. We have had our differences and it hasn't been easy, but I am very pleased that you have taken this step. It has also reminded me of something else. Of who I am. She looks at the letter. What he writes is true. We, we were not Dornish, not to begin with. We were conquered, forced to be this way. I suppose the ways that I have learned might not be as straightforwardly true as they appeared. I still believe that the Dornish could, we could defeat dragons by our ways. There's strength in them. But I will try to do more of an effort to learn your way. <sighs> Rosette, House Caladan has always been something of a um, something of a uh, special place in the marshes. A lot of lawns have a lot of traditions. They have a lot of opinions on how things should be done and should be done in the future as they have been doing it in the past. We are not so bound with tradition in this house and that is why I had a feeling when the uh, proposal, uh, proposal came from your brother that you would uh, potentially fit very well in here. We are a, a family of unique people. I dare say that you can't find uh, the likes of any of us anywhere in the marshes. And that affords members of this house a certain special privileges when it comes to what is expected within the house between each other. What I am saying is that you don't need to change too much on my account, but we need to constantly remember our position in the marshes. We have the eyes of everyone else on us. We are, military speaking, a small house, but our influence is great. Our words carry weight, and they are heard on all levels of the society of the Seven Kingdoms. We can, indeed, whisper words to the king, and he will listen, if we need it to. But this means that we need to keep up appearances. When the eyes are upon us, we must keep appearances. That is also a reason why the troops from your brother had to go home. Our neighbors view them as an occupational force. They, although they helped us clear out the bandits, they diminished our standing in the marshes to have them in our keep like this. And that is what I want to implore for you, Rosette, is to remember that we have eyes upon us and that we cannot flaunt tradition at a whim, even though we might wish to do so a lot. If there is to be changes, they need to be slow and incremental. Within these walls, he sort of moves his hand around, you can be as free as you wish, but do remember the standing and the people always looking on, at us. We walk, as it were, always close to a precipice. And we must be very mindful not to fall fall into it. I am of royal blood. I shall not forget that again. You know, it is so. somewhat of a duty, I suppose. But this house will, in the future, be led by those of royal blood. And I should endeavor to not... To be able to tell them, my children, how things are done in a proper way. Says, I, 
I have thought much about it since I got the letter. Perhaps I should have come sooner, but I was not sure as to what this meant. It, she looks at the letter. It uh, was a bit rattling, to be honest. I understand that. And again, I am very happy that you decided to confide in me. This is indeed important news. <sighs> he sighs a little bit. With this news also, it... Um, he looks at her up and down. I have guessed at a uh, at something that I would have expected you and Lainis to come to me with earlier than this, but I will go out and voice my suspicions since you have been so forward with me. I shall be so in return, yes? Not. I suspect that you have or had plans with Lainis to go to Dawn for the birth of the child. That I way, had, yes. That but way, the as um, it is now, it will make no difference. It nods. Indeed, with this revelation, it is, and where our different houses stand at uh, at this point, your brothers and Caladan, <sighs> sending you there would be simply too dangerous at the moment. I can understand your feelings. I can understand your original motivations. Believe me, I do. But he, he like surely shakes his head, but it is simply impossible at the moment. Answers. If my brother does as I think he will and declares us Andals, then... Stops a bit. Then Dornish law would not count for us regardless. And should he win then it will not matter. Should he lose, then I doubt anyone would dispute the claim that me and Lainus's child would have to the lands of Ironwood. That's some nonsense. If you're not. That sort of stands. Just, you can keep the letter if you wish. He nods slowly. He to walk out. Yeah, he looks after her and says, if there is anything else, Rosette, uh, you know where to find me. I, um, I know of my sinister reputation, but believe me when I say that you do have an ally in me. Says, yes, uncle. She goes to leave. Desam frowns deeply as he walks up, takes the letter. She'll basically go to find Linus to confide in him as well. Giving him uh, much the same information. Thank you. Though a lot less sort of stiff when she does it. I don't expect I don't expect formality. <laughs> no, not really. But she will also explain that, that the trip to Dorne will not be uh, as... It will not mm -hmm. matter now. 